Dan, how have you felt your own individual, your own defense has been this, this season? How have you felt kind of with that progress? You said, how has my defense yeah, been? Yeah, how have you felt? How have you felt about your own defense? I think I've had a rip these first five games. I think I've had a great start defensively. There's something you feel like you've been doing differently or something like that? Um, I mean, I think that's that's been a part of my approach, you know, is to come out and establish myself as being present defensively. Um, that's in ISO situations and pick and rolls, being into the ball, not dying on screens, in the post, in transition, communicating. Um, you know, when I'm on the, the weak side of the defense, communicating and making sure people know um, what action is coming, listening to the, the play calls that I'm hearing. Um, if I hear it early enough, echoing what that play might be for, for us, you know, if it's something that I recognize. Uh, but just being, uh, approaching that um, with, with a different mentality, just being present. And um, the more I'm engaged that way, you know, it makes it almost easier, you know, to, to defend when you come into it, um, putting that first. How do you feel about the team's progress on that? I think we've we've made great progress. You know, we've had two games: the Sacramento game where uh, we had a good first quarter defensively, a, a, a bad second and third quarter, and then a good fourth quarter against Sacramento. Then the second game we had a really good game against Phoenix defensively, and then another uh, so-so game at the Clippers. And um, the last two games we've we've been who we want to be defensively. I think the the challenge is sustaining that. You know, being that team all the time and not just. Um, at home. Uh, when we go on the road, we got to be able to take that same energy and mentality. Um, and I think a positive about tonight was we didn't shoot the ball great, but that didn't affect us on the defensive end. So that's another step in the, in the right direction defensively. Are you guys finding it fun, enjoyable to play better defensively? It's definitely fun. Um, you know, I think in camp, you know, when we would have good stretches in practice, uh, you know, Chauncey would would say that to us. Like when you defending and you getting stops and running out, you know, it's fun. When you getting stops and you making it hard for the other team. And after the Phoenix game, you know, we kind of talked about it in the locker room. Like, see, you know, it is fun when you get stops and um, it gives you energy. You know, when you know you stopping the other team and you frustrating them and you, you know, you showing a wall. You know, they're not just having their way. It's it's fun to know that you're doing that to teams and um, we starting to understand our schemes better. We starting to communicate better. Um, and that's that's what we're putting first. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's fun. It, it's a it's a fun feeling to have knowing that you know we're not winning games because we just exploded offensively, but we're winning games like a a winning team should. You know, and in a sustainable way. You pay attention to the analytic numbers for that defense. Like you're at 103 defensive rating right now. Just 12 points away from last year. Do you? I don't pay attention to it. Um, you know, I've never been a big numbers person. You know, I, I've never even looked at, you know, what the stats are or this per possession and all that stuff. Um, I feel like I got a pretty good lens on what's taking place. You know, when I'm watching it, I can say we didn't have a good defensive game or we were solid, we just didn't rebound well, we gave them too many opportunities and they scored. You know, I, I think I got a pretty good lens on that. And um, right now, uh, I feel like we're defending well. You know, we're a different team defensively than we have been over the last few years, and um, we just got to continue to work at that and try to stay stay on track like we are right now. And I I think it'll be better. You know, I don't really look at the numbers like, okay, let's try to be move up a spot by. You know, I don't really play that game. So I'm proud of the the growth that we've shown early, but it's only five games. It seemed like when you were talking to us on Wednesday, not that maybe you were like frustrated with the shooting stuff, but it was, you were more aware of it maybe than you were. Is it, was there, a, did it ever get to the part where you were th felt like you were thinking about it too much? No, I don't, I mean, I'm a shot maker, I'm a scorer. So when I'm not making shots, it's frustrating. You know, I don't think I ever said it wasn't frustrating. You know, I wasn't happy about it at all, but I, I've been around long enough in this league to know that it's part of the game. You know, I've had stretches where I score 50 points a game for a week, you know, you can't, you can't enjoy that part of it, and then when shit goes south and it's your turn to go through a slump or a struggle, you can't, you know, switch up and be like, you know, this shouldn't happen, and you know, pout and all that. I know that that's part of the game. That's part of um, being a guy that people make their scouting report around. They make your life hard. They don't want you to get a clean look. They guarding you physical. They're trying to wear you out. That's.
part of it is missing shots. And even though I understand that, I still expect to make those shots. So that's where the frustration is. Um, and I think when you take that and you take your competitive spirit and the expectations you have for yourself, I started trying harder to make shots. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you try too hard to make it, you don't make it. You know, you, you continue to miss. And um, I was just like, I'm going I'm to stay aggressive. I'm going to keep staying in my routine, doing what I do. You keep keeping my body right, uh, getting my shots up, going through my foundation shooting like I do in the summer and like I do all the time. And uh, just keep my mind right, keep making the right plays. You know, play, play a good basketball game, make the right plays, pass the heads, make the right reads, keep trusting. And, um, you know, eventually things will, will come around. You know, that's, that was kind of my mentality. And um, I knew it would, you know, it wasn't like I was going to just shoot the ball bad all the time. And um, that was my mentality. So given Wednesday night's third quarter and tonight's performance, do you feel like you've put the slump behind you? Uh, I mean, I don't, I would say it's definitely trending out. You know, I shot the ball well tonight. Um, it was still some shots that I missed that I felt like I should have made. But um, I shot the ball well tonight. I had a, a stretch in the third quarter of last game. Um, and I just got to keep going in that direction. You know what I'm saying? To me, I think when I come out of it, I feel like it's going to be loud. You know, usually when it's, um, when I, shoot the ball poorly over a stretch. Um, it's loud when I come out of that. And, uh, you know, I never know when that's going to happen, but I just know myself and I know my history and I know the patterns of of my game and my career. And when when I play well and don't shoot well, when it click and when I do start to see the ball go in like consistently and I make a good shot and I make a tough one, I know what that looks like and everybody here knows what that looks like. So. Um, I just got to keep doing what I do and being me. And, you know, I know what the result is going to be. Chauncey said, one last question. Chauncey said before the game that you were kind of like a ticking time bomb. He was just kind of waiting for it. So you're saying this wasn't this wasn't the bomb? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been around I've here seen long I've enough seen to shoot know. I've pretty well, man. I, I really have. Tonight was a good shooting game. But I'm saying you've been around long enough to know. Like, you know what it looked like, you know? So, um Tonight was a good, I thought I played a good game and I shot well, but I don't think this was me coming out of us, me coming out of it completely, you know what I mean?